another day, another CPU cooler. Today it's the Zalman CNPS 10X Performa Black Air Cooler's time to shine. But will it actually shine? This, my friends, is a rather brand new compact cooler by Zalman. Good news for us smart spenders, at a price of about 40 US dollars currently, it's a pretty affordable cooler. However, let me stop you right there in time, before you rejoice. By now there are some really good air coolers out there that can be had even for under the $40 mark. So it's not like the CNPS 10X Performa Black will take home its victory due to its pricing alone. We'll take a closer look at that today. As for what comes included, it's looking good. All the stuff for the installation along with instructions are included. We are even graced with a bit of thermal paste by Zalman, even though it's not necessarily a whole lot. Anyway, the cooler comes out of the box like this, already pre-assembled. The fan is already attached right out of the box. As for build quality, I really can't complain. It all seems fairly solid, albeit I couldn't help but notice the slightly weird greenish tint to the black coating on the heatsink. I won't deduct any points for that, though. What's pretty obvious right away is that this, needless to say, is a more compact air cooler. And that's great, because those huge massive giants of coolers often cause RAM clearance issues and make accessing our build not that easy of a task, especially if you do adjusting on your PC fairly frequently. As usual these days, we see an asymmetric heatsink design here. Salman equips this cooler with a 135mm fan, which does offer pretty nice performance. Furthermore, the fan comes with an EBR bearing, in case you wondered. One side does come with rubber pads to keep vibration noise down to a minimum. At first glance, I feared there was no padding ring on whatsoever, but it turned out my fears were in vain. I do have to deduct a point for not being able to easily upgrade the cooling setup. Zalman, other than many other manufacturers, albeit not all, decided to not include a second pair of fan clips to easily attach another fan to the heatsink down the line. That's not very nice of Zalman, it really wouldn't have been a big deal to include a second pair of fan clips from a cost perspective. As usual with coolers of this size, four heat pipes, and as many out there, Zalman too went with their so-called DTH technology for their CNPS 10X Performa Black. Basically, that's a direct touch base, with the heat pipes making direct contact with the CPU. On the CPU or rather socket support list, we get to see the most recent ones, even though LJ1700 for Intel's new Alder Lake generation is still missing on there. Whether today's cooler will get official LJ1700 support down the line in form of a separate mounting kit, who knows. Obviously, neither RGB nor any kind of lighting comes into play here, as most surely expected given the model name being Performa Black. Now what can be said about the installation procedure and what about fan noise? Not much of a surprise these days, the installation is fairly easy, straightforward and fast, with all mounting brackets, screws and whatnot being of good quality. Memory clearance issues are non-existent here, very well done indeed. Let's talk about fan noise. This is where I have some mixed feelings, since at lower to medium fan speeds, the fan is barely, if audible, at all. Once you, however, crank up that fan speed and go for a more aggressive fan curve, basically letting the fan spin at its max rated fan speed, it's not really that quiet anymore compared to what I'm used to from the competition. Nonetheless, I wouldn't say we're dealing with some sort of jet engine. I would go as far and still consider the fan noise as quiet but no longer super quiet. On the other hand, I suppose most of us don't actually run their fans at max RPM. Alright, enough beating around the bush, it's time to slap this Salmon cooler onto my AMD Ryzen 7 3800X and read out the temperatures. In fact, when it comes to raw cooling performance, I have some good news for you. The CNPS 10X Performa Black is doing pretty well and slides in there nicely with competing models and that's a good thing. I personally find it interesting that in terms of cooling performance, we're not that far off from the legendary Noctua NHD15. To be fair though, it 
needs to be said, this is also somewhat dependent on the CPU you're testing with. Some coolers fare better with certain CPU core layouts than others. As so often with CPU coolers, I end up with very similar conclusions. Buy whatever you like best with an eye on pricing. These days, there rarely are any bad cooler models out there, as long as you pick up models by renowned brands, that is. The Zalman C and PS10X Performa Black sure does sport a good price to performance ratio, which is one big reason I can recommend buying it. I do have some critique though. The fan noise at max speed is not optimal, and skimping on a second pair of fan clips isn't that nice either. With that being said, Thanks a lot for watching and please stay healthy out there.